Good morning, Bernard. Good morning, Dr. Priscilla. How are you today? I'm going well. It's the beginning of the holiday for my grandchildren. Ah, so how many grandchildren are with you now? Only three this week because <laughs> the holidays are different in France. Uh -huh. It depends on the area where you live. Ah, and so I will have only three children this week. How many grandchildren do you have in all? Uh, nine grandchildren. Nine. And how many children do you have? Three children. Okay. Every children have, have every children have three children. Okay. Each child has three children. Each child has three children. Very good. So, do you have more girls or more boys, or is it equal? We have only two girls and seven boys. Wow. Are the girls older or younger or somewhere in between? The girls are uh, medium. The, one of them has, is 20 years old. Mm -hmm. And the one which is at home this week mm -hmm. is nearly 15 years old. I see. I remember earlier there was a granddaughter that I think has gone away to college and because she was taking such a difficult subject, you all did something nice for her, you and your wife. I can't remember if you took her on a trip or something. Do you remember? Yes, it must be the a boy who is 20 years old mm -hmm. and who left the college uh, after the baccalaureate, which mm -hmm. is the a big exam in France, mm -hmm. and uh, he decided to stop the studies to play music. Oh. And uh, today he works with his father mm -hmm. uh, in the same company of his father, mm -hmm. but he's not really satisfied with that because he's frustrated to, because he, he, did, he didn't, didn't use his passion. Okay. Mm. Then I do encourage students to follow their passion if, if they can afford to follow their passion. Mm -hmm. If they need to work, then they may not be able to follow their passion right now. Mm -hmm. That passion may need to wait. But let's read this article about parents' anger at $730 Armani school uniforms. Okay. When you're ready, you may start to read. Yes. It seems very very expensive. <laughs> uh, parents yes. of a Tokyo elementary school are up in arms at being asked to pay $730 for their child's school uniform. A public elementary school in Tokyo super upmarket Jinza district has decided to adopt new school uniforms designed by the luxury Italian designer Armani. Armani. The, Armani. Armani. Mm -hmm. The bespoke uniforms, which include a hat and bag, are priced at over 80,000 yuan, 80,000 uh, yuan, I think it's yen. Yen. Yen, yen. About $730 each. Wow. Parents are angry at the school decisions and are protesting at what they view as the exorbitant price for a uniform of an 80 year old child. Mm. The school said it wanted a designer uniform that represents the rich area of Jinza. <laughs> school officials visited top department stories and decided to ask the fashion brand Armani, Harmony to design a uniform. The expensive uniform has created such a first that it has been discussed in Japan's parliament. One lawmaker said that since the school is public and not private, a certain price range needs to be considered. 
Finance Minister Taro Hazo said, clearly it's expensive. It would be tough if a student could not afford to pay for it. Japan's Education Minister said, steps would be taken to ensure the financial burden placed on parents for uniforms will not be excessive. Twitter's users said young children are not interested in designer clothes. Mm -hmm. The school principal said, with humility, I take the criticism that the explanation has been insufficient and not well timed. I will go on explaining carefully to those concerned. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you think of a school uniform that costs 730 US dollars? Understanding that most children have two or three outfits, not just one. What do you think of that price? Well, it, it's, it's completely crazy. Uh, I suppose uh, it couldn't arrive in France. It will be a, a big angry for people. But some private school, but I'm not sure that it's the same meaning in Japan than in France. A private school in, a, in France is a school where you pay mm -hmm. for education of your children. Mm -hmm. A public school is, an, is, a, is a school where everyone could go freely. Exactly, and the taxes are what pays for the school. Yes. That's how it is here in the U.S. A private school, people pay privately for their students to, to attend. And the private schools are sometimes subsidized by the government as well. Yes, it's the same. Yeah, okay. It's the same. And so, so I, I, I can't imagine that in a public school, the government or the managers could impose an uniform which is so expensive. Exactly. And even the, the middle rich or the average, the average person, that to me would be too expensive. So if we look at those who truly would find it uh, a hard burden to bear, it's unspeakable. Mm. Um, I don't know. I think maybe two hundred dollars for you if they're going to go high end than that. But if not, I think one hundred dollars, even less than that, would be sufficient. A twenty dollar mm. pair of pants, a ten dollar shirt, and a five dollar bag. I think they should be able to come out with seventy five dollars for each outfit. Mm. But we will see. All right, so we talked a little bit about this school uniform. You and I both disagree with the cost of the uniform. Do you think students should be made to wear a uniform or should you, children choose to wear their own clothes choice? And, what, and why do you feel this way? Uh, for me, when I travel all over the world, in some country, in many countries, I could see that uniform was obligatory, was compulsory for the students. Mm -hmm. And in my opinion, I thought it's a good idea because all the children are the same and there's not a competition, a contest between the rich children and the poor children. Okay. But in France, many people are dis disagree with my opinion. And uh, it's a debate, actually, because the new government would like sometimes to create a uniform in school. But mm. most people are disagree with that. Mm. Was, uh, you know why they, why. you know why they may be in disagreement with that I, I don't know the disagreement is perhaps because uh, it's against the the freedom of children in their opinions mm. the the French are 
opposed to uniform mm -hmm. because the freedom is so important for them. Okay. Their individualism. The individualism, yes, of course. Okay. So is it true that Tokyo wants the parents to buy uniforms that cost $730? This is the true false. Uh, the question A? Yes, question A. Okay. The uh, high school in Tokyo wants parents to buy? Yes, it's true. Okay, and B? The school asked the Italian designer Romani to design the uniform. It's right. Mm -hmm. It's true. true. The uniform prices includes the school bag and hat. It's true. Very good. It is true. School mm -hmm. officials went to department store to look for a uniform. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember if it's true or false. Okay. I think that the they did they did go to the department stores first i think they said that they did go there first okay but they, but they wanted an, an italian uniform to suggest that they were <coughs> i don't know something prestigious okay, okay. so it's true it's true mm -hmm. the uniform prices the uniforms price has been discussed by Japan's government. Yes, it was a question who arrived in the Parliament of Japan because there was an angry discussion about that, I suppose. Exactly, okay. Japan's finance minister said the uniforms price wasn't expensive. Uh, I think it's false. Japan finance minister agreed that the uniforms were expensive. Mm -hmm. The article said the Twitter used a Twitter user said children love designer clothes. Uh, I don't, don't remember. remember. I don't remember. It says, "Oh, it's in that last." Four lines on the bottom. Twitter users say young children are not interested in designer clothing. Okay, the the so it's false. It's false. Mm -hmm. The school principal has said there's no more talking to be done. No, it's false. The school yeah, principal will discuss with parents and the government and other people. Exactly. Okay, so I'm going to give you the pen. And I'd like to see you match up the uh, the words. The synonym match. Up in arms is. Up in arms is uh, excessive, excessively high. I don't know. Okay, I, it sounds like it could be, but I don't know if that's it. Up that's market. Mm -hmm. Up, Up market. market. Mm, I've never heard that phrase before. Let's go to the number three. Ex excessively high a market. Okay, excessively high. Okay. Bespoke, I don't know. Exorbitant. Exorbitant, too much. Okay. Represented, symbolized. First, I don't know. Considered. Mm, okay, let's considered. Uh huh. Considered. Thought, thought about. Very good. Thought about. Mm -hmm. uh, thought. Tough. 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 Difficult. Difficult. Good. Excessive. Too much. Okay. Too much. Uh, insufficient. Too little. Mm -hmm. uh, how I have made some mistake. So uh, now, well, now we have to go to bespoke number three. three. Number three, bespoke. Uh, bespoke. Um, oh ho, ha ha. No, I don't know. I don't know. But let's just leave that one. Let's go to fuss number six. Number six, first. 
-hmm. First is a is a angry discussion, I suppose. Yeah, first would be angry. Angry, angry. Okay. And so we need hoo ha. Let's see. Let's look at it the other way. Hoo ha. I think up in arms is hoo ha. Up in arms is hoo ha. Hoo ha. Ooh. Ah. Hoo ah. It's like up in arms. I just, I'm just don't know what to do. And then custom made is going to be custom made. I could it be bespoke, but I'm not sure what bespoke means. So let me check bespoke. Let me check the vocabulary word for bespoke. Let me. Could you release your mouse? Okay. Ah, okay. And let's find out the find We find bespoke. Uh, something made to order. Bespoke is something made to order. <clears throat> something made. Okay, J. Bespoke is custom made. Okay. And I'll give you back the pen. Bespoke is custom made. Okay, I think you should have the pen now. Bespoke is custom made. But I don't understand the meaning. Custom made or bespoke? Uh, I, well, I didn't know what it meant either. So let's see if I can find it in the article. Uh, a uniform. <laughs> The bespoke, yes. okay, the bespoke uniforms here. Yes, which include a hat and bag. I priced at $730 each. Okay, so not really understanding the word, we're just removing it. I could say the custom made uniforms. Oh, the, the means, uniform is made by another country's Italian. Ah, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Props. Yeah, and to, to create them, then ship them, that is an additional cost. They should be, we say by American, they should be saying by Chinese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or in your case, by French. All right, so now let's take a look at what is left. Clear all drawing. Go back to, did you wear uniforms in your school when you were a child? When I was a child, we have a, a blouse, a, mm -hmm. a gray blouse we was wearing by all the pupils. It was worn by all the pupils. It, she, it, it was worn. It was what? It was worn. It was worn by all people. It was worn by all people. The gray blouse. Mm -hmm. for, okay. For women, it was a blouse. For men, it was a shirt. Okay. For women, it was a blue blouse. Okay. In France, when I was a child. And for men, it was a blue shirt? A blue shirt. Okay. A blue shirt. Okay. Do they still wear uniforms primarily in France today? Uh, do they? Today. Do they wear uniforms even today? No, no, not uh, only in some private school. Okay. Usually, usually expensive private school. Mm -hmm. okay. But it's, it's rare. It's rare. Okay. Mm. Uh, here's look at D. What was the last thing you were up in arms about? Up in arms being like just angry and frustrated at something. What was the last thing you were up in arms about that you can remember? Uh, or for example, for for example. But it's not really. It's not real. Um, when I received my last bill of retired people, 
okay. that I that is pay for me every mm -hmm. month. Yes. There was a reduce of the amount of money because a new tax from the first January by the government. Okay. This new tax is okay. important, about two per, two percent. So my the amount of money of my pension was reduced and I was up in arm. Okay, I was up in arms at the reduction of my pension. I was up in arm at the reduction of my pension. Okay, very good. I was up in arms at the reduction of my pension, whereas before it was whatever it was, and now it is 2% more. Or I received 2% I received less. Okay. But the main thing is, I was up in arms at the reduction of my pension. I was up in arms at the reduction of my pension because it was 2% less uh -huh. than, the, than the former pension. Okay, very good. For the, for the previous pension. Okay, yes. What does, F, F, what does the adjective uniform mean? Uh, uniform? Is not a, 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 an adjective. Uniform is a no. Is a is a noun. No. Well, it could be. What does the adjective uniform mean? Okay, when you were talking school, about school uniform, school uniform, uniform is an adjective. Yes. Yes. Well, they're they're talking about. I think they're talking about two different things. One, when we say uniform, uh, we're not talking about clothing. We're talking about standing in a straight line. We're describing something, I think. Mm. But when we talk about the actual clothing of a uniform, I think it would be a noun. But I don't teach grammar per se. So I think that that's, it's just a quickie, a quick way of seeing if you're paying attention. The article talks about the uniform in terms of clothing. But here it's asking you about the word uniform as in standing in a military-like style in a uniform lining up to do something. Okay, okay. School uniform, the adjective uniform is related to the same style of clothes that was wearing by students, that we are wearing for students. Mm -hmm. But I think it's asking you about the adjective uniform, not the noun. The adjective uniform talks about not clothing, not a person, not a place or a thing, but describe. Ah, uniform it, means the same. The synonym is the same. Same. It's, it's, a, it's the same word, but they have two different meanings. Okay. They have different meanings. Okay, now letter G, should the uniform reflect, they're talking about the clothing now, the wealth of the upmarket area of Ginza? Ah, I think then in Ginza, because this is the only place the students are wearing this uniform, that this must be a wealthy area. So probably there are no poor children <laughs> in Ginza. Surely, surely. Maybe not, maybe, I don't know. So anyway, do you think do you think that the uniform should reflect the wealth of the upmarket? I don't think that they are doing that for the people in the classes. They're doing it so that people on the outside would know that this is an upscale area. Uh, I suppose that, that in this article, the uniform is related to, to, is related to the wealthy person but it's not the same in all the countries of the world. In mm -hmm. poor country, you could find uniforms that create, yeah. mm -hmm. that create the same uniform mm -hmm. appearance for all the children. Exactly, exactly. What advice would you give to the parents that are disagreeing with the purchase price of the uniform? What advice would you offer to them? Uh, I could say them if uh, today often often in the school playground there are discussion 
there are frustration, there are disagreements between the children about the wearing they could they could afford to pay because some of them are rich and could pay for good uh, shoes for example mm -hmm. good uh, sport shoes Nike for example or other brands and others couldn't can't can't others parents can't pay for mm -hmm. this new brand for their children but what is so, it what is the advice that you're going to give them yes so i give it to the parents if the if the uniform was compulsory at school there won't be any discussion about school shoes about jacket about trousers because the uniform could stop every discussion <laughs> okay i'm not so sure that she gave me an answer though as to what advice advice would be something like this advice to the parents would be my advice to the parents would be to organize themselves and go before the board and make a recommendation that the designer armani not even be considered for reasons of blah 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 okay all right, all right. Well, this takes us to the end 